Good afternoon. Uh, this video documentation is, is in regards to an HID uh, system, just how to secure and connect them to your headlights, uh, just in case if you have uh, replacement bulbs or ballasts. Uh, I have two headlights uh, on my desk. Uh, one instance is going to be for the W211 chassis, which is an E-Class Mercedes-Benz headlight. Also, I have a, a G-Class headlight right here, which is also a 463 chassis. Okay, starting with the E-Class headlights, uh, this is an actually a H7 housing, so Pretty much the concept here can uh, follow for most H7 housing. Um, if you do have your rear caps, all you need to do is pretty much twist to unlock, remove it. You'll notice that you have an H7 internal connector, which resembles just like this. Uh, you'll notice uh, the, the mechanism or the means how to uh, secure your, your bulb. For At least for this headlight example, we'll have like uh, a pretty much a clip switch which where uh, you push to the side to remove it and bring it up. However, if you're wishing to replace that HID bulb, uh, this is an example of an H HID H7 bulb. How you can uh, connect this into the internal housing is by removing this clip by squeezing. So once you have that removed, you'd want to loop it or tuck it right underneath the H7 bulb. If you notice that the H7 bulb has a notch, please be sure to uh, position the notch uh, the same position when uh, plugging in the bulb so that the bulb can uh, fit correctly into its uh, housing. Once you have it positioned, you pretty much uh, squeeze uh, the clipping back so that it's in position. Once you have that done, make sure the notch is uh, aligned correctly inside the housing. You press the clip firmly push it to the side and you'll lock onto the housing. Once you have that locked on, pretty much your HID bolt is secure. The other thing you want to do before connecting your HID ballast is uh, to take notice that you have an HID grommet. This grommet is actually to serve as a plug so that no moisture or water can uh, fall into the housing and causing any condensation. So once you have that, pretty much you'll loop, loop the plug inside However, at certain instances, the plug might be a bit tight, so uh, angle it just the way that you can loop this through. You also want to get these uh, male and female plugs through as well, as they, they are uh, connectors to your HID ballast as well. So once you have that through, you'll be meeting the cap with the grommet, whereas the grommet has two layers. You'll be slipping the middle layer so that it's positioned and secure, tight and snug, just like this. Once you have this done, uh, it's a really great recommendation that you apply a thin layer or a good layer of uh, siliconing right over this uh, grommet just so that uh, you ensure that no extra or any condensation or moisture uh, seep through these uh, spacing. Once you have that silicone and dry, pretty much the next step what you could do is uh, connect these uh, H7 uh, pin connectors to your H7 internal connector. Uh, take notice that the, the pins have a positive and negative whereas the internal connectors also have a positive and negative. So make sure the positive goes to positive, which is red to yellow, black to brown, which is a grounding wire. Once you have that connect, connected uh, securely, uh, it's another great recommendation if you have uh, an electrical tape to go ahead and wrap this around with electrical tape just to ensure that any exposed uh, pins and whatnot won't be able to uh, touch any of the metal fixtures inside the housing causing a short. Once you have that all done, uh, please note that this plastic has to be removed. Again, this is only for reference purposes that I'm leaving this. Uh, again, this plastic cap should be removed. Thank you. So once you have all, the, all of these wires tucked safely inside the housing, pretty much you just uh, twist to lock on the headlight, rear cap. Once you have that locked on, you'll be left with uh, your HID ballast plugs. Uh, this is actually a 9006 connector which will go to your ballast. Please take notice that your ballast will have engravings for positive and negative. Uh, this type of ballast actually doesn't have the engraving, so we understand that the, the inner pin will be the positive one. So make sure that you see that the red meets with the inner side positive for this ballast. Once you have it securely uh, connected, you'll be left with the male and female connectors. So pretty much straightforward. Make sure you hear this snap. Everything is secure and snug just like that. Once you're ensured all your wires are connected properly, 
pretty much this is it for the HID portion. However, if you're left with the ballast hanging just like this, it is our recommendation if you're able to secure this within your engine compartment safely, um, you may uh, be able to use zip ties or even a heavy duty 3M tape. Just be sure to clean the, the surface if you are applying a 3M tape and also not to apply it or attach it near any uh, plastic or any surface that's uh, sensitive to heat. Uh, this being said, actually we have another example of a different type of uh, HID bulb uh, securing. This actually is a metal retainer ring. The, the way that the, this one uh, actually secures is a little bit different. So uh, we have actually a video reference for this. So if you do encounter a connector or a securing just like this for you to lock on, to twist on, to secure the HID bulb, please ask your seller or email the customer support and asking a, for a reference guide in regards to this. Uh, they'd be more than happy to forward another video that perfectly shows what you need to do for this headlight type. Thank you so much for your time.